So hello everybody and welcome to this huge unboxing from Toronto. Hello, welcome to the Extra Channel. And uh, yeah, let's just go all the way into it. All right, so we have removed the plastic. Let's get into the box. All right, so we are now a lot, a lot, a lot further into this nest or into this box. And of course, this is the new massive Toronto wooden nest and an outworld. Uh, and a small wooden nest, as far as I'm aware. I think we have the outwell right here. So let's just place that right there. And then we have the nest in here, I hope. <laughs> now the big question is rather the small nest is in here or in there. So right here we have the huge outworld and I just need to get all the way in. I must say it's very nice protecting. Um, so it's a very large package but so far everything looks very safe which is always a plus when you're shipping uh, glass because glass is glass. And right here we have the lid of the outworld. Just, just see how huge this is. It's a massive, massive, massive outworld. So we just took the nest out right here. I think this is a small nest, but as you can see, this package is just really, really well um, protected and sent out. We have the decorations right here because it's an outworld set with decorations, which is, of course, very nice. And then we also have a little bit of tubing. Oh, and then we have all the dowels for the nest itself. Okay, a very, very lovely unboxing experience. So later on in the video, we will be building the outworld. Um, but yeah, let me just unbox all of these small bits and bobs. All right, so inside these two small packages, we have these uh, ventilation shafts, I want to call them, uh, for the nest. So you can see right here we have these ventilation thingy things. Um, so we have airflow inside, and I think they just they just sit like that, I think. And that of course gives an airflow inside of the nest which I do think looks super nice. I really like that they have the small logos all over the place. So what I love with these unboxings of Toronto products is there's so many layers, which I really love. And last time I unboxed the nest, we, we seem to have the same kind of cotton here in the end, or not cotton, but cloth material. And I think it gives a super cool unboxing experience once you get in here, and there we are. And wow, that nest looks stunning. Stunning nest, that is for sure. So, with all of the small bits and bobs unboxed, it's time to go in and get the massive nest out. And wow, I can see the nest now, and of course you can as well. And wow, this is a huge nest. Huge nest. Now this nest is made to be put on a wall, so we have, alright, alright. So that's super neat as well. So we just need to put two screws in here and then we can put it on a wall. So the cool thing with Toronto is you can really specialize how you get things. I ordered to have two different entry holes on each side. So yeah, looks super cool, man. Looks super cool. And of course, all of these holes are to put in the dowels so you can close off each section of the nest, um, which you're gonna have to kind of follow the chambers to see what opens and what doesn't open, but yeah. Looks super cool. All right, guys, hello and welcome to the part of the video where we are preparing the nest. So, of course, we have these. And uh, what I learned in the last video uh, after last time was that these are meant to be loose. It is just purely decoration. And of course, the ants can't escape, so it's fine. So now it's time for us to decorate this nest. Now we got this Toronto Arena Decorator large set. And uh, this is what we are gonna be using to build this uh, decoration today. So we've been treated with a few different things. We have the sand, large, 700 grams. Then we have these small rock things. Then we have some of these, uh, basically don't know what they're called. Um, but we have a few different things. And lastly, some twigs and other stuff. And of course, we're just gonna be starting by putting all of the sand inside. So the first thing we're gonna do is simply just to pour in a lot of all the sand. And I am no expert of designing these things, so I think 
I think I just want to get an even layer across everything and then I want to build a hill afterwards. But I think it's best to just pour everything in first. I don't know though. <laughs> so that may have been dumb, but that's, that's how it is. We learn as we go along. All right, and now it is time to add the Twix. Now, what I think I want to do is I want to, of course, I want to have a foreground uh, for where the ants will hunt and eat and all of this. Um, but I also somewhat want to make sure that the ants... Uh, I also want to kind of hide the nest entrance. So we have the nest entrance over here. So I think I want to maybe put like a little... Oh, we have a lot of sand over here. All right, I'm just gonna take some of the sand and put it over here. Uh, of course, we want some sand at the nest entrance. Um, I multitasked a little bit before with also doing the shorts, TikToks things, because of course I've gone quite a bit viral over there, so I'm uh, multitasking a little bit. Uh, but of course, I want to say thank you for watching here on the Extra Channel. Just uh, slow and relax. I hope you're all having a good day. I uh, just put up the. Uh, I of course just put up the Ferranto nest, the big nest on the wall, and um, everything went uh, just to plan. So then we have all of these small rocks. Now I like the simplistic design look, so I, w I want to have something right here at the nest entrance. I want to kind of maybe hide some rocks around it to help the ants get inside of it and all. But the problem is, if you look at people like Rich from Ant Antix, they have these mega me he ha he his brain is just so different mate I, i'm not i'm not sure it's human his, his the way he builds setups is just truly beautiful like i can't stress it enough it's it's truly beautiful so I don't like these are a little bit too perfectly placed i think i just want i'll just stomp in like a little bit of, just around the place just a little bit um, oh this is this is a big rock maybe we need to make this that's the way in. So we have this big rug right here. Oh, what if we... What if we do a little bit of a branch actually on top? So this way the ants actually are able to almost climb directly in. It's gonna be a little bit harder for me to move the setup around, but of course it's gonna be stationary for the rest of its life because it's connected to the big nest. I mean, I'm, I'm, no, nest, I'm no setup maker. Uh, I'm not good at these things. I've just placed them all. I want a kind of a clear area here in the front because that's where I'm going to be feeding the ants and watching them. And I feel like we have a quite clear area here and then we have a little bit of background things. So of course we have one last bag to fill. Just uh, again right here at the nest entrance. I don't know if these help them. I think it will help them because it will give them uh, the ants a little bit of a better grip. Um, but of course, nature-wise, these would be put around the sticks, right? Because these would be dropped from the leaves. I don't know. I'm no nest. I'm 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 not good at this. It's uh, I'm a little bit better at recording than building these setups. Uh, next time, I'll fly, fly Rich out to help me build them. Uh, as long as he pays for the plane himself. So I don't want to go too overboard with these because I feel like there's quite a lot of them, and they are. Very dark. Do we like this? That's very simple. Very simple setup. Um, by the way, if you're ever looking for some some good sugar feeders, I would always recommend the Antimatters liquid feeders. Uh, the small thingy things. Um, they are the best. I hadn't had the best experience in the beginning, but uh, they are definitely my favorite choice by far now. Uh, they are so much better than anything else I've tried. They just they just last for so much longer, but I, I'm, I mean, I mean, I think it's done. It's very simple, but it's just, it's just a casual setup to have the ants inside and feed them and all of that. Yeah, I think, I think I like it. I think it's done actually. Very simple.